Hello, I'm Mary V. Today, let's have a look at a common problem which is holding the violin really tightly. Now, why is it important not to hold the violin so tightly? Well, it prevents you from doing um, vibrato because the, the hand has got to move. Uh, it pre really prevents you from shifting because again, the fingers are, are so tight that it makes it very difficult to shift. So there's a great way to loosen off the, um, the grip and the hold that the left hand has between the thumb and the first finger. So the best way is away from the violin and get yourself a wooden spoon and simply put your thumb on one side and your first finger on the other. Now the first finger really should touch the violin it's above the bone and it's there's the knuckle and in between is the finger. That's the ideal place. Start to move your hand backwards and forwards like this. And think of your thumb as being a pivot, right? And also your wrist as being a pivot. So you can see that the first finger is touching the spoon, but it's not gripping it because it's moving backwards and forwards. It's going behind the thumb and in front of the thumb, right? So see if you can get that movement going. And you'll see there's a little rolling of the thumb. So the next thing to do is to learn how to tap the thumb, simply like that. That's all you need to do is, is learn to tap it, right? And you can feel that there is a connection with that part of the finger, but there's no grip there. The first finger is able to move and also the thumb is able to move. So once you can do that, then try putting your first finger down while still gently touching with this part of the finger, right? So put your first finger down and then do the same movement backwards and forwards like that, using the thumb as a pivot and the, the wrist as a pivot. So I think it's better to do this away from the violin because we tend to, as soon as we hold the violin, if we've got a habit, then we'll just grip it and it's much harder. And this is very lightweight and a lot thinner. And it's, I think it works really well. So you've got your first finger and it, by the way, this is a great way to start the vibrato action, right? So there doesn't need to be a massive space or anything like that. The first finger can graze along the neck. That's fine. So you're showing yourself that your hand is able to put the first finger down and actually move without this terrible grip that stops all the other fingers from working properly. So that's the next thing. Put all the fingers down in one and with the thumb on the other side, move all of the fingers like that back and forwards, back and forwards. And simply use the thumb as a pivot. You can touch the neck or have a very slight space, it doesn't really matter. So long as you can get this movement going, like that. So there you are, you've got your uh, vibrato exercise as well. So you need to practice that a lot, very thoughtfully, because this um, gripping the violin like that, it's a very persistent uh, problem because you can just be holding the violin and you know that you're not squeezing, you're not gripping, but as soon as you play, it all starts up. So that's why you have to take it right back to basics and away from the violin you can look and see how the thumb can be on the neck and 
the all the fingers can be moving and there's no gripping there's movement instead right so if your thumb does get tight doing this and then stop everything and learn to tap it right because that's what we're going to do when we pick up our violin so let's try that now so make sure that you're holding the violin so that you don't have to grip so we start with the fingers up So make sure you make the movement um, behind the thumb and in front of the thumb, nice and big. Get some movement going there. And then make sure that you tap the thumb. And you can see that this part can be touching all the time, but it's simply not gripping. So then we start with the first finger going down and we do the same thing. And then we're ready to put all the fingers down, have the thumb at the side, and simply move them all in one. The whole hand, all the fingers. So I would recommend alternating between the wooden spoon and the violin backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, because you need to persuade your hand how to do this, right? So there's another exercise that I think is really beneficial for people who have got incredible grip. So you simply slide the first finger uh, under the neck so that you separate your hand, so that the three fingers here are separate from these two here and you simply put the fingers down and you're, what you're experiencing is being able to put those fingers down um, not being impeded by the thumb at all so that you can feel what it's like. Uh, it's a very empowering exercise. It opens out a small hand and it gives great relief to um, someone who only knows how to hold a violin with a real grip like that. So put your fingers down, waggle your thumb around and you'll see what it's like to um, be able to empower your other fingers, right? So do lots and lots of that. That's a very special exercise that will really, really help you. Everything should be thoughtful. It's the quickest way to really change a habit like this. So those are the exercises that really do work to loosen off a terrible, strong grip. Um, and it starts to enable vibrato, which is a really marvelous thing. Because if your first finger is gripped there uh, in between the first and the thumb, it's extremely difficult to do vibrato like that. It's almost impossible because the, the hand must move because it's great to open out this tendon here. So it's a marvelous exercise to open up your hand, make it feel much more powerful and liberated. So I hope you get on well with those seemingly very simple but powerful exercises. And I'll leave it there. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Bye.